Hi everyone and welcome back to Jubilee Road. We haven't actually been here much over the past couple of weeks, have we? Yeah, that's kind of my fault, being too busy with other stuff. So, um, if you're on the Facebook page, you might have noticed I said I got a new logo. Now, I did ask you what you think the logo was. Now, I had a few good suggestions, but no one actually got it right. Here's the engine in this. Um, I've been wanting this engine for quite a long time, actually. Um, and a guy I know called Nathan dropped me an email saying, I've got this engine and I'm selling it. At first I said no, and then I thought, don't be stupid because this engine in here is quite hard to find now. So I bought it off him, and I've had it, so uh, let's have a look inside, shall we? So, this is Backman's um, limited edition box. Really uh, nice and sturdy. You can just lift these up. Like that. Right. Let me get these two bits of packaging up the way a minute. Any other last guesses before I show you? No. Nope. Right. Here we go, guys. This is what's in this box. It is number 60532 Blue Peter in the BR Green, which you can see there. So today we're going to have a quick look at it, not an in-depth review, because it's an older model. Give it a quick run and, yeah, see what we uh, see what we got. So, this is a second-hand model, as I said. But look, the parts bags have not even been opened. It's virtually brand new, and the uh, Nathan, who I got off, said it hasn't really run at all. Only test run before he sold it. So basically it's brand new, isn't it? So, very easy packaging, much easier than the boxes we get from Bachman. Simply lift up. Typical, it falls backwards. That would happen, wouldn't it? Stay there, box. There we go. Get a closer look at the engine. Really, really nice. See, there we go. Blue Peter. Just get, uh, get her on the track and uh, have a better look at it, shall we? So the model is on the track, looking really nice, isn't it? Really nice, lots of uh, separately fitted details. I'm not going to go into them all because I said this is an older model. I believe it was about five or six years ago back and bought this out. But for five or six years ago, this is really quite nice, isn't it? Um, they have done two versions of Blue Peter. Oh, um, they've done this one in the. BR Green, and they've also done the um, Apple Green livery, which I believe Blue Peter's in at the moment. I would prefer this livery, because this is the livery I remember it on the main line. Um, I've actually been behind this engine on the main line. Wow. Extremely powerful engine. So if we just move, pick the camera up a little bit, and then we go down the side of it. Look at this. Really nice livery on this. Plenty of separately fitted details as we go down. Number looking good. 60532. Come to the tender. Look at all the rivets on that. Are they actually raised? Yes, they are indeed. Don't think it's on properly. There we go. Um, lovely li um, British Rail logo. See if we can zoom in on that. Yes, of course we can. Look at that. As usual, the camera turns the light on. Well, the camera does like to turn the light on, so I'll have to come up with a way to stop it doing that. So yeah, this engine is really nice. Um, as I said, the parts bag has not been opened, so I am going to fit all the parts on it to make it look even better. Because we've got couplings, we've got the pipework which goes in the cylinders here. I'm going to put on uh, the doors in between the loco and the tender. Um, now... We will have a look at the cab detail, so I'm just going to move the engine into uh, position so we can have a look at that. So there we can see the cab detail. Now, as I said, for a five, six year old model, that is really, really nice cab detail, isn't it? All the pipework, very, uh, well, legible there. Firebox just there, and really fantastic, fantastic engine, this one. 
So, you know, that's just a, a quick look at uh, this really nice background model. Got the nice double chimney there as well. You see that? Same as Tornado. It's actually really similar. So at the uh, after the little run-in session, I think I might um, put them side by side to do a little bit of comparison. Because this is an A2 class and uh, Tornado is an A1. And um, you might know that Blue Peter is the only um, A2 still in existence. Mind you, so is Tornado. But that's a new build, so it's kind of a bit different. So, as I said, this is not an in-depth review because it's an older model. I only do that now on brand new releases. So, uh, let's get this thing on the track. Right, I got the um, lovely Blue Peter on the track. Today, we are using the Outer Loop, just here. Reason for this is because I've got the full rake of the Pullman coaches on the other side and I don't really want to go messing about uh, moving them or taking them off the line. So, as I mentioned, this engine probably hasn't had its run in. I'm not sure um, if it has or not, but my impression is that it hasn't. And it's been run just to test run it to make sure it's working. So this is going to be interesting to see how this thing works. So um, let's pick a direction and uh, we'll find out. So uh, take it away, Blue Peter. Oh, wow. Well, that was... Uh, no hesitation whatsoever there, was it? Let's see how slow we can go without... Very, very impressive. Can we go slower? Ooh. F wow, for a DC model, that's really good, isn't it? Very silent. Uh, no jerkiness in the model. Nothing. Wow, I got to um, hand it to Nathan, the guy I got off, and really look after this thing, hasn't he? I could have told you this was a brand new model. You probably would have believed me. I would imagine you would have, because... Well, you wouldn't know it was second-hand unless I had told you. Hmm. So, I think what we need to do is uh, send it for its first ever run round Jubilee Road. So, here we go. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Maybe the point was a bit wrong. That's probably normal for me. I do that. I do that a lot here. Hmm. Really looking nice. So now here we come back to where uh, Blue Peter started its first journey. Here we go. Well, to be honest, that's probably what you call running perfection right there. Now, as I've said in the past, there's nothing wrong with buying second-hand models. This one right here, it's the proof of it, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, fantastic runner there, in great condition, so a bit of a find, this one. So as I said, let's put it um, next to Tornado and uh, do a little bit of a comparison, I think. Right, let's go and find Tornado. So now, here we have the both locos together. They really do look very similar, don't they? As I said, the um, Blue Peter is that bit smaller. Let's have a look in. Wow, they look so nice together, don't they? Let me just move this one a little bit this way. 
Look at that. Wow, that does really look nice, doesn't it? Just move it back slightly. You see Tornado there in the apple green. Looking very nice, a little bit dusty mine, but you've seen that logo plenty of times. So yeah, they do look similar. Uh, Blue Peter does have a smaller tender. Let's see if they're any different in length. If I push it to there. Let's have a look if they're any... It's not much in it at all, is it? Pretty similar. And as I said, Blue Peter does have a smaller tender. You can... Yeah, it's about the... Well, I think it's probably a little that little bit bigger but they as I said very very similar um these two um blue peter is a three cylinder loco I think not sure about tornado is tornado four if someone knows please uh, let me know but I'm pretty sure tornadoes are four and that's a three I'm probably completely wrong but it's really really nice to have these two engines Side by side at Jubilee Road. Oh yeah, two great L and R Pacifics there. So that was the little comparison and a look at the newest engine. Gone a bit blurry there, huh? We'll just leave it like that. So yeah, as I said, that's what we uh, seen today. Now. The LNER Gala is going to be pretty good, isn't it? Because now I've got an A1, an A2, an A3 and an A4 here now, which is Flying Scotsman and we have also got two A4s here. So we got the, um, the four, is it? Four main engines of the LNER. That's one of the reasons why I wanted Blue Peter. Uh, I will be putting a sound chip in this one before the gala so they can all four of them will have the lovely sound in them now the P2 is obviously a very big LNER engine but I think this wheel arrangement the 464 isn't that a Pacific type loco now the P2 is not as you know a 464 it's a 282 isn't it so don't think that's a Pacific, I think that's um, a Makodo or Makyodo, you call it something weird like that, I don't know. But guys, that's, well, that's the end of the video. Remember, don't forget the Facebook page. Uh, you would have known there was a new engine here if you had been on it. Thanks for uh, the suggestions that you gave on Facebook. None of you were right, but you had a good go anyway. So, Tuesday then. The Garden Railway will return. We have the new engine and the controller. So, uh, and the weather's supposed to be nice. Yeah, right. We'll see about that. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment, as usual, in the comment section below. Or put a like. That's just as good. So, uh, that's it for today, guys. And uh, I'll be back um, very soon. Bye, everyone.